We would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. ProvoBeast here doing another install today. Today was more of a how-to video for an install, not specifically for any vehicle. Uh, but today we're going to show you how to add a dual USB charging port on any car. It's kind of a unique install, allows you to uh, charge multiple devices instead of off a cigarette lighter or for example uh, an aftermarket radio. So we're going to show you what parts you're going to need for this install as we add a dual USB input or a dual USB charging location in your car, truck, SUV, anything. Parts we're using today is uh, we're going to show you exactly why but we're using a dual USB charger there are 2.4 amps per slot we're using our USB extension it's a flush mount adapter for dual USB and then we have a female socket that allows us to utilize some sort of cigarette lighter adapter um, and then plug it hardwired directly into the vehicle itself so Really basic, um, all this together could cost you around 30 or so dollars. Um, this just really allows you to add multiple charging locations in your vehicle. Pretty cool. So we're going to get this all pulled apart to show you here on the test bench exactly how it all fits together. Then we'll head to our vehicle and uh, show you how to install it. All right, so we got this all pulled apart here. Now this is exactly how this USB flush mount adapter works. Uh, this is fortunately the same size as the cigarette lighter, so we're actually on this install going to replace an existing cigarette lighter in the car with this um, USB. The other end, just standard USB mail ends. Now those USB mail ends will go into our charger adapter. This is a fairly nice one. And then that charging adapter will go into the socket, kind of like this. And then this end, um, we're gonna plug right into the existing wiring to the cigarette lighter. Now the nice thing is, you're welcome to fuse this, but that cigarette lighter already is on a 10 amp fuse. So essentially it's already fused through the factory fuse box. But like I said, totally up to you. Now in the event you don't wanna mount this in a cigarette lighter location, it does come with um, a universal mounting plate. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda get this all wired up, put together before we head to the truck. Okay, as you can see here, this is about two meters or about six feet or so. I mean, you don't need one that long unless your uh, power location is a bit further away where you wanna mount this. Uh, but that's how that all fits together. All right, here we are in the truck. Now, like I said, universal application, really anything here, but what we've chosen to do is mount this on this um, 2009 Chevy Avalanche and what we're going to be doing here as you can see it has dual um, charging ports or uh, the uh, factory cigarette lighters and uh, we're going to be replacing these cigarette lighters with our little flush mount adapter. Now um, every application is going to be different. What we're going to need to do is pop out the factory plug. You're going to do that on your vehicle as well. To do so we have to pop out the factory um, dash bezel, <laughs> exposing the screw so we can pull this out and then uh, essentially get everything wired up. So let's go ahead and get that done. Typically, it depends on your vehicle. There's just little tabs that lock these in. And once you release those tabs, these whole pieces just slide on out, exposing the circle where our flesh mount adapter will mount right in. Okay, so I'm back from the test bench. And as you can see here, really just take, take your time, a little bit of patience. These do pop on out. And it may differ in your vehicle, obviously. But uh, we already got one in on one side. You can check out the video of how to actually install an aux and USB to an aftermarket radio. I'll post that in the description, so be sure to check that out. Feed these wires through. Now, obviously it's loose, and so these uh, kits come with little nuts that you feed the wire through, and you're gonna tighten it there on the back.
All right, there we go. Pretty cool. We're gonna use one of these power ports. We're gonna splice into these wires here. We know for certain that the red with the yellow stripe is the positive, and typically your solid black or solid brown is your negative. So um, in this case, negative positive, we're gonna splice into those and put these in. Now, like I said, at this time, if you want, you can add an inline fuse if that's easier for you or uh, gives you more security, knowing that it's another measure of safety. But since we know that this plug is fused in the factory fuse box with the correct amperage, we're not going to in the circumstance. So let's go ahead and get this all wired in. Now we're gonna be using butt connectors. You can use T-taps, you can um, separate the, the wire and solder it on. It is up to you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the wire, just like so. Now, it's also a good idea to remove the negative off the battery just to be safe. So what we'll do is, now you could just directly hook this up if you really wanted to. We're gonna still retain this plug down the road in the event you wanna take this out, plug it in, you don't have to search for this connector that you've lost. And we'll twist the negatives together. An insulated butt connector on there. Make sure it's nice and seated well. We'll use some good crimpers. Get a nice crimp in it so they won't come apart. And then the other end. All right, now as you can see, we still kept the factory connector, but we've basically piggybacked off the power there. Now, just an added measure of security here. Since this will be in the dash, we don't want this to shake loose. So what we're gonna be doing is using this tape and we're gonna tape it, binding it together so it's nice and snug. Just like so. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna give this a little test. So we're gonna plug this end in here. Plug that right on in. There you go, pretty cool. And again, this is just charging. It's not connected to an aftermarket radio because our other side here is gonna be for that. And like I said, check out that video for that tutorial. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get everything bundled up nice and tight so it fits way back in here. Nice thing is this, uh, this cavity, there is that space for it, um, just so we can get everything tucked away. Pretty awesome, that's about it. If you have any questions on how to add a universal USB charge location um, in any vehicle, just go ahead and post a comment below. Like I said, there's so many ways to do this. Um, and it's totally up to you the way you wanna take it, but I will post in the description the details of the unit you, we use today here in this install. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out our sponsor, Sonic Electronics, for a 5% discount. Um, on your next car audio purchase. I'll have the details in the description. Uh, thanks guys for watching the channel. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.